Hello. I hope you're all doing good. Let's just jump right in. Okay, Aquarius. Gods, goddesses, and angels of the light. Deceased loved ones, higher selves. Aquarius is higher self. And guides. This is for Aquarius, an overview. This is sun, moon, and rising for Aquarius. You can check to see what yours are. If you don't know your sun, moon, and rising on cafeastrology.com, it's free. The free needle, needle chart. You have to know your birth time. They're jumping right now, so. Ooh. Okay, Aquarius. Four more, please. Spirit, higher self source, Aquarius's higher self and guides, please. for this Aquarius. some really favorite Aquarius friends. You know who you are. So, I haven't talked to those friends in a while. But it's good to see what's going on. You know, if this doesn't resonate, you know, try to book me for, this is just general. So go ahead and try to book me for a uh, one-on-one -on -one or personal. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, just, you know, click off. There's plenty of other tarot readers out there that are really, really good. I'm a life coach, spiritual happiness life coach. But like I said, this is general. Okay, so let's just jump in. You're hidden, what's hidden from you, okay, Aquarius? Um, you can lie to yourself, so this is a hidden card. Um, it shines the light on truth, it puts truth, it shines the light on something that's dark and hidden from you, okay? 
Okay. Um, find a new direction. You're feeling defeated. Okay. Got the five of swords here. You're feeling defeated. You, it's time to find a new direction. So that is what's hidden from you, is it's time. When you feel defeated, it's almost like you hit bottom and it's time to go back up. You, when you, you know, when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go and that's the beauty of it. I mean, it's an awful place to be, but you start going back up. There's only one way to go. You can only go so far down, you know? Okay, so your past, so that's that's your present moment. So your past card, people, places, things, what brought you here to this hidden card where you feel defeated? <laughs> it's a young man, it's Paige. A young man that has an optimism personality. Um, he's on the move all the time. But he's winning. So if this is for a male Aquarius, it could be the opposite. It could be a young woman. Okay. It's the opposite sex to whoever I'm reading for is what this card is. The page of wands. Okay. So it's because of that person that brought you here to this defeated feeling. Okay. I have... It's the vice versa tarot and one side is so the other side which it is is transformation you're not quite there yet but it is that card one little switch of an awareness you could be in the transformation stage just to let you know okay so that's the past let's move on moving on the present moment You've got options. Seven to be exact. Seven of cups. And um, you're aware of it because here, I'll show you. The seven of cups is aware of it and it's on this side. The reversed, look at the eyes on that person totally oblivious you are aware of what's going on that you have a lot of options in the present moment this is your new start you, you're here and now present so you've got options that's the start is you're aware of your options okay and now you're really aware if you're watching this video that you have options it's just calling you out on it, <laughs> all right? You're not stuck and you know you're not stuck. You're not in that, in the present moment. That's a good thing, that's, that's positive. Considering the hidden card is that you're defeated, <laughs> that's just meaning you're not wanting to admit defeat if it's your hidden position, which is not good. But the present moment, you have options and you're aware of that. That's good, that's a good start. So you see what's going on here? Okay, I'm seeing what's going on here. Your advice card, how do you move forward card? You're gonna have to have sadness and tears and loss. You're going to have to face that. 
you have to leave whatever situation, place you are in, person, job. This is about emotions, it's cups, so I'm gonna say person. I mean, it could be a friend. More than likely, it's a lover, but this is a general reading. So it could be for multiple people. But in order for you to move forward, that's the position, the advice of this, this card is advice card. Sadness, tears, and loss is what you have to go through. It's the Five of Cups. Okay. So the next card. We've got... It's your next step. Go with confidence by heeding the advice in this card, which is with clear vision. The um, Ace of Swords. Go with clear vision. To have your victory. To have your sanity. It's a Swords card, so it's mental. It's clear vision is what is showing that you your next step is, is to get clear. That's what is in your near future for you in the next 10 days or so. So if you don't change anything from what you're doing right now, you're in this limbo phase of realizing you have options. Um, now you're aware that you were defeated so maybe making your decision to move forward to experience some sadness tears and loss won't be as hard for you to take that advice and if you take that advice you cry a couple tears you're gonna get your clear vision and your victory I hope that helped you know what let me you with an oracle card message I'll read out of the book God's goddesses and angels of the light source deceased loved ones Aquarius's higher self and guides please give me a clear message Y'all are doing good. There's two. You know what? I'm just going to take them. So we've got healing the heart, power of self-love. I'm gonna read this one first. Okay, Aquarius. The number's 27, so it leads to nine. Power of self-love. The priestess of personal power brings you a message of hope and healing. Sacred geometry encases her upper four chakras with the lower circle moving through her heart center. This represents the healing energy coming to lift you up and bring you true peace and personal power. This priestess reveals the inner strength you the inner strength you can call upon to overcome past heartbreaks. 
that may have left you hurt and full of longing. Wow, this is right on. The pain could be from a recent breakup or it may be the lingering ache from a love lost long ago. The scars in the heart center might even relate back to misinformation or mistreatment in childhood. In fact, issues of rejection, abandonment, and even betrayal may be driving your present perspective on love. These past experiences have caused a shutting down reaction, an emotional resistance to love in spite of your mental desire for it. Now is the time to heal the old um, heart wounds and reverse the faulty conclusions that are actually blocking your desire. The circle of consciousness and thought represents your higher intentions where love is concerned. Within each powerful vortex of personal energy is the expanding strength of your relationship with yourself. You always have the choice to love and care for yourself, to vent your frustrations, and to take action on your own behalf. When you consciously release old fears, <clears throat> excuse me, and desperate needs, you will awaken the strong, autonomous person within and your daily life force will project waves of joy and confidence. Tr two truly irresistible energies in the universe. Affirmation, say this out loud. After I say it. It is safe and comfortable for me to love and be loved. I live in my personal power. Loving and encouraging myself every single day. Now your second card that came out. Divine Masculine, Electric Active Power. So I'm not gonna get into it here, but you may be a twin flame. And this is proof. But it also, if you're not, it's just, it's electric active power. So it's the side of your personality that you need to take in in order to move forward to draw in your twin flame. If you're a female and if you're a uh, divine feminine, then it would be the opposite that you need to take in, like if you were a male right now. But if you're a male even, and you're not a twin flame, that's why I didn't wanna get into it, it's confusing. Um, so a divine masculine, uh, maybe you're lacking an active power right now, being active and accomplishing things. So eight. Divine masculine, electric active power. This is the card of Orsis, master of resurrection. He hurls a time of active creative energy in your life. He fuses his own inner light with the powerful and eternal vibration of universal consciousness. Being newly empowered in every cell and every thought, the hawk that sits on his shoulders has a strong life force and intense energy. This card indicates that you are entering this field of expansive energy at this time. In flight, the hawk has great vision and ability to communicate with the spirit of creation and this is an important message for you. You are moving into a time of great creative and productive energy. So let yourself consider what project or activity is calling to your soul. Whether it's a new business, a novel or a work of art, now is the time to focus on this type of endeavor. Your own resonance vibrates with an absolutely electric connection with universal inspiration and accelerated action. In fact, you may emerge from this time feeling not only reinvigorated, but even reinvented. On a personal level, this card could signify an approaching relationship with a man. I already said it, I already, I already said it. It may be a new romance or it could be a strong friendship or business connection. 
This man brings fresh ideas and dynamic energy into your life. So be conscious of any new opportunities. Remember, as you receive the guidance and support, always to maintain your own creative intention and listen to your own intuitive voice. Affirmation, say this after me. As I connect with the creative force in the universe, my own creativity expands and thrives. I send my love and light. Bye for now.